Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is episode one of Tiny Tire Tuesday. And for our first episode, we're going to look at the new Enjora 55mm comp pin tire. So I'll give you a little up close look at the tire itself. Uh, you can see the tread pattern. This is a tire that's... Um, that's made more for competition. It's not a, uh, in performance, it's not a scale tire. So if you're, if you're looking for scale realism, this is probably not the tire that you're going to pick. Um, but if you're looking for performance, this is probably going to be a pretty decent choice. I would think, um, it's in their new S five compound, which is the softest that they make. Um, there's not a good relation between compounds of this company versus another company so you can't really you know you can't say that their s5 is the same as another company's whatever compound but it does feel pretty soft it feels it feels like the better tires out there they, they it feels really similar to the the other tires that perform really well so i'm hoping that this is going to perform well as well and it does come I don't know if you can see it but it does come with foams you can see them there. So uh, let's get some specs on this tire and then we'll mount them up and see how they do. Okay, so it's a uh, 50, right, right at 55, so that, that's pretty accurate for uh, height. Width is 20 point. Mm, Right around 20 ish, 19 and a half, 20. Um, let's get a little scale out here. Oh, hang on. Sorry, I had it on ounces and not grams. see it um this is weighing in right at nine grams for the tire with the foam so um let's get them mounted and see how they do on different wheels you can see <laughs> i actually dropped this one on the floor moving some stuff around and just picked up some dust just from touching the floor so it's it's a pretty sticky compound so let's get them on some wheels Okay, so we have them mounted up on some different wheels. These are the uh, RC four-wheel drive steel wheels, and they mount fine. They get... Steel wheels, I don't know what it is. They, they tend to do this little thing here where part of the, the lip of the tire kind of sticks over or whatever. Um, I tried mounting this several times and couldn't get it to not do that. It looks funny. It should not affect performance. These are on here very securely. I can't pull them off. Um, so it should work fine on those. Uh, these are trio wheels. And I only put, I didn't put all the screws in since there's so many of them. And I'm not going to be testing it on these wheels. But mounted fine on these. Again, can't, can't move it, can't pull it off. Um, these are the little guy racing wheels. Mount great on there. Uh, Enjora wheels. Works great on there, which, you know, makes sense. They're Enjora tires. Should work on Enjora wheels, and that's what I'm going to test them on. But, uh, you know, obviously I can't test every single wheel out there. But with these four, I had no problem mounting it, mounting these tires on any of them. So, it's probably safe to say that these tires should probably work on whatever wheels you're running. So let's get them all mounted on the same wheels and we'll get them on the vehicle and we'll test them out. <clears throat> okay, so we've got the uh, tires all mounted up. I'm just gonna take a couple laps of the course. We'll go kind of around it one direction then turn around and go back. Just see how they do. Let's 
So this first part is the uh, expanding foam. And they, they go up that no problem whatsoever. And some tires do. Yeah, even hitting the brakes on it doesn't slide one bit. Now over to the sand pit. Got hung up a little right there. That's the, uh, that was the front um, chassis rails hitting that the tires weren't even touching. So don't, don't take that as a judgment of the tires themselves. No, so it driving across the surface of the sand like this, um, most tires will do just fine because it's just kind of packed sand. But where I'm really testing it, sorry, let me get you a better, get in a little bit closer. We're going to be climbing up out of the sand onto this rock and just seeing how they hook up coming out. So spinning a little on the rock. Been a pretty good amount getting that up. So they did finally make it out, but it, it did spin a little bit. getting up it but I think that it's, there's just so much with these uh, super soft compound I think there's just so much sand on these tires and it sticks to it so much that it's it's kind of hampering it okay so I went and cleaned the tires off with some uh, just some water on a paper towel see if they do any better filling up that section So if I kind of give it a little gas and let the momentum carry it up, well, maybe. It finally does get up. Um, so it doesn't seem to really the clean tires didn't really seem to make a huge difference. Okay, so we'll get turned around here and we'll, we'll just take another lap, but the opposite direction. We're gonna go up this little incline first. It's about 30-ish, maybe 35 degrees. No problem, it, it doesn't spin at all.
I think that was more driver error than anything else. So we're gonna go back and go through the sand pit, this time the opposite direction. I'm gonna back down. Um, there's a little bit of sand on this slate. Um, just to see. It is spinning a little. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Let me uh, let's see if we can. It does have a little bit of spin, but not not too bad. So let's uh. Go back through the sand, see if we can get out the other side. The other side is trickier coming out than this side is. It's steeper. Um, I have vehicles that can do it, so I know it can be done. You're pretty, pretty much covered digging a hole. So rather than keep trying this, I'm just gonna I'm gonna say we can't make it out of that section with these tires. So let me uh, let me get it out and we'll finish the lap. I did knock some of the sand off too. It picked up a ton of sand, um, and that's just kind of one of the things that you see when you have tires that have super soft compounds like these. Um, it does tend to pick up more debris, dust, sand, dirt, whatever it is. Let's see, I don't know if you can see it, it kind of slid going down right there. It didn't, the tires didn't hook up very well with all the sand on them. So we're gonna see if we can get up the, uh, this incline here. little spinning um, let's see a little bit more spinning right there um, it does kind of slide I don't know maybe a half an inch or something when I hit the brakes so they don't lock up the tire even though the tires are locked up it's still sliding and again I think that's from the sand on it see it's sliding down on its own right there so it's spinning, but we can make it up. It's making it up kind of problem. So we're gonna come on around and we're gonna come down the foam mountain that we went up. Okay, so we're going down. Let's let's get it a little closer. Going down, going down slow. Um, and if I, you know, if I stop on this pretty steep incline, they still hook up just fine on the foam. Let's go, uh, let's take it back to the bench and we'll 
kind of talk about our final thoughts on these tires. Okay, so we've tested these 55 millimeter Endura comp pins. Um, let's kind of talk about how they did. On rocks, um, I'm going to give them a four out of five. I think that uh, I think the compound is good, but I think it's almost a little soft. I feel like it picks up a little too much debris and uh, it loses traction when it does. When they're brand new right out of the box, you know, if you could, if you'd always run them that way, I'd say they were five. But once you run them, they pick up some, you know, dust and stuff and that kind of cuts the traction. So we're going to say four out of five on rocks. On the foam, five out of five. We had no problem. Even with, you know, them covered in sand and dust, it hooked up just fine on the foam. Uh, so if you've got an indoor foam course at home, these would be a perfect tire for you. In the sand, I'm going to give it a two out of five. But I'll be honest, that's kind of what I expected from a tire like this with uh, that's made more for rocks, um, competition type tread, doesn't, you know, shallow tread, tread that's close together. Um, not really one that I would expect to work very well in loose stuff. So, uh, all right. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we're going to be adding these tire ratings to our website. Uh, we may actually wait until we get several tires rated before we put them up there just to, you know, just so it makes a little bit more sense to have them on there. But uh, I'd love to know your thoughts on these tires if you're running them. If, uh, if you agree, if you disagree, if you think, you know, they're, they're better or worse than I thought, please let me know. Um, appreciate everybody watching. Please like and subscribe. And then tune in next Tuesday for our next Tiny Tire Tuesday. Thanks.